Blessed is our God always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed are the undefiled on their way. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your rules of life. Alleluia. My soul has longed for your judgments. Alleluia. My soul has grown weary because of being despondent. Strengthen me with your holy words. Alleluia. Lead on my faithful heart to your testimonies and not ever to greediness. Alleluia. Exceedingly distressed am I because the sinful men forsake and disregard your law. Alleluia. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those who keep your rules of life. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia. Mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Pamela, who has fallen asleep, for the forgiveness of all her sins both voluntary and involuntary. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. That the Lord God will place her soul where the righteous rest and will grant to her the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of her sins. Let us ask of Christ our mortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant. Pamela, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God, and to you we ascribe glory, together with your Father, who is without beginning, and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Your own hands <coughs> created me and fashioned me, Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Be merciful to me, O Lord. For I have shriveled like a wineskin in the frost, yet I've not forgotten your just decrees. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I am yours. Save me for your rules of life have I always sought. Be merciful to me, O Lord. Apotem primato su que execline, toi emotis a me, eleis a me, Kyrie. I have inclined my heart always to follow your rules of life, as my true reward. <laughs> Be merciful to me, O Lord. It is time for the Lord to act, for they have broken your law. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, Lord, have mercy on me. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Pamela, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. And to you we give the glory as to your Father, who is from everlasting, and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. And have mercy on me, alleluia. Look graciously upon me and have mercy on me as you do for those who love your name, alleluia. 
I am young and despised, but I have not forgotten your rules of life. Alleluia. My pleading voice hear, O my Lord, in your great mercy, and in your justice grant me life. Alleluia. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you, and your ordinances shall assist me. I wandered as sheep who lost the trodden path, Come and seek your servant, Lord, for your commandments have I not forgotten. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant Pamela, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God, and to you we ascribe glory. Together with her beginningless Father, your all holy, good, and life-creating spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your rules of life. The company of saints has found the source of life and the entrance to paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the lost sheep. Call me back, O Savior, and save me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your rules of life. In the beginning you formed me out of nothing, honoring me with your divine image. But when I disobeyed your commands, you returned me to the earth from which I was taken. Restore me to that likeness, that the ancient beauty may be formed anew. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your rules of life. I can am I of your ineffable glory, even though the marks of sin are on me. Take pity, Lord, on your own creation, and cleanse me in your compassion. And my cherished homeland do you grant to me, making me again a citizen of paradise. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your rules of life. Give rest, O God, to your departed servant now and place her in paradise, where, O Lord, the choirs of the saints and the righteous shine as the stars of heaven. Give your departed servant eternal rest, overlooking all of her sins and trespasses. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the, the tribrillions of the Godhead, singleness. Let us praise reverently, chanting, Holy are you, Father, without beginning. Son also without beginning, and the Holy Spirit shine upon us who worship you in faith and deliver us all from eternal fire. Now and always and forever and ever, amen. Hail, majestic lady, who for universal salvation gave birth to God in the flesh. Through you, humankind has found redemption. You may we find paradise, pure and blessed Theotokos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <laughs> Grant rest with the saints, O Christ, to the soul of your servant, where there is no No sorrow, no sighing, a 
but life ever let shadows, more elusive than dreams. In a single moment, all are supplanted by death. But in the light, O oh Christ, of your countenance and the sweetness of your beauty, grant rest to the one you have taken like a true friend of man. Every immortal is like a flower that withers, a passing dream that vanishes. Yet when the trumpet sounds, all the dead will rise up as in an earthquake to meet you, Christ our God. Will you then master, assign a place where your saints abide for the soul of her whom you have summoned from our midst? <laughs> All human things are vanity, which do not survive a person's death. Riches do not go with us, nor does glory accompany us on the way. For when death comes upon us all, all of these shall vanish indeed. Therefore let us cry to Christ, the immortal King. Give rest to her who is departed from among us in the dwelling place of the blessed. Indeed, how awesome of your death is the mystery, how the soul is forcibly separated for misharmonious union with the body and of their coexistence. This natural bond by divine will is broken. Therefore, we implore you, give rest to the departed, in the dwelling of the righteous, O giver of life and lover of mankind. I brought to mind the prophet who cried aloud, I am earth and ashes. And again I looked in the graves and beheld the naked bones. And I said, to whom could these belong, king or soldier, rich or poor man? righteous or sinner. But give rest to your servant, O Lord, among the just, as a gracious and a loving God. Your creating command became my beginning and my being, for it was your will to bring together the visible and invisible nature, to fashion me a living creature. You shaped my body from the earth, then gave me a spirit by your divine and quickening breath. Wherefore, O Savior, give rest to your servant in the land of the living where the righteous dwell. Give rest, O Savior and giver of life to our sister who am you have taken from things temporal as she cries glory to you. I weep and I lament when I come face to face with death. And when I see lying in the grave the beauty fashioned for us in the image of God, disfigured without glory, all its form destroyed. How strange indeed that this
this lamentable mystery should happen to us. How were we given to corruption? And how did we become partnered with death? Indeed, as written by the command of God, who grants to all the departed eternal rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your death for mankind, O Lord, became the cause of our salvation. For had you not in the tomb been laid, for us paradise would open not. Therefore rest the departed in your eternal love for man. Agni partene tu logo pele tu te uimon, mi ti regite ve eleitine tim sikina apti. Makaria i odo, Blessed always be the road that you travel on today. For there has been prepared a place of everlasting rest. Blessed always be the road that you traveled on today, because for you has been prepared a place of ever lasting rest. <coughs> Let us be attentive. Their souls shall dwell in prosperity. To you, O Lord, I have cried, O oh my God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, we could have not been ignorant concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the cry of command, and with the archangel's call, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, so that we shall always be with the Lord. Peace be to you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, <clears throat> wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all and with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Lord said to the Jews who came to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but is passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, 
so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself and has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own authority. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Then we pray for the repose of the departed servant of God, Pamela, who has fallen asleep, for the forgiveness of all her heirs, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That the Lord God will place her soul where the righteous rest and will grant to her the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of her sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Beloved, to this point, this has been an Orthodox, Greek Orthodox funeral service. I hope for at the end of our days, which may be a little different than what there is a bishop in your history present. So, what makes a bishop's funeral distinct is that in the Greek tradition, the bishop alone has the authority to read the following prayer. And so this is a very special prayer that I ask you to be attentive to. O Lord our God, in your inexpressible wisdom, you created man out of the earth giving him form and adorning him with beauty as a precious and heavenly being to the praise and honor of your glory and kingdom, making him in your own image and likeness. For when he violated your commandment and did not preserve the image which had been entrusted to him so that his evil state should not endure forever, in your love for mankind you ordained that this mixture and blend and the unbroken bond that you had established, O God of our fathers, should by your will be severed and dissolved, and that the soul should proceed until the general resurrection to the place from where it received its being, and that the body should be dissolved into the elements from which it was made. Therefore we pray to you, Father without beginning, and to your only begotten Son, and to your all holy and consubstantial and life-creating spirit, do not forsake your creature, Pamela, and let her not be swallowed up by destruction, but cause her body to dissolve into its constituent elements and assign her soul to the company of the righteous. Yes, Lord our God, let your immeasurable mercy and in your incomprehensible love for mankind prevail. And if your servant has fallen under the curse of father or mother or under her own curse, or if she has embittered any of the clergy, and has been subjected by any of them to a bond from which she was not released, or has received a heavy ban from a bishop and through negligence or laziness did not seek forgiveness, forgive her through me, your sinful and unworthy uh, servant. Dissolve her body into the elements from which it was composed and assign her soul to the dwelling place of the saints. Yes, Lord our God, who gave this authority to your holy disciples and apostles to grant remission of sins, saying to them, whatever you bind or loose on earth, let it be bound or loosed in heaven. And who through them have in your love transmitted this great gift to us, the bishops, even though we are not worthy of it, loose your ser servant Pamela, who has fallen asleep, 
from all sins of soul and body and let her be forgiven within the present age and in the age to come. This we ask through the intercessions of your all pure and ever virgin mother, O God of spirits and of all flesh, who has trampled down death, crushed the power of the devil, and granted life to your world, do you yourself, O Lord, give rest to the soul of your servant, Pamela, who has fallen asleep in a place of light, Amen. a place of green pasture, Amen. a place of repose, Amen. where there is no grief, sorrow, or mourning. Forgive every sin which she has committed in word or deed or thought. For you are a good God who loves mankind. For there is no one who lives and does not sin. Only you are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is true. <coughs> For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant Pamela, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. And to you we send up glory, together with your Father, who is without beginning, and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy. You are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant Pamela, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. And to you we give the glory as to your Father, who is from everlasting, and your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Ανάσταση η ζωή και η μακαρή ανάπαυση τη και εκμημένη δούλη σου, Παμαλία Χριστέο Θεώσιμων και συντηνόξα να απέμπομένση του ανάχρηστου του Πατρί και του Παναγίου και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύμα την Ιγκαία ή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Glory to you, O God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead and has dominion over the living and the dead as immortal King. Through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, of the holy, glorious, and all praised apostles, of our holy and God bearing fathers, of the holy and glorious forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of his holy and righteous friend Lazarus, who was four days in the tomb, and of all the saints, assigned to the dwelling place of the righteous, the soul of his servant Pamela, who has departed from among us. Grant her rest in the bosom of Abraham, and number her among the righteous. May he also have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good God who loves mankind. May your memory be eternal, however blessed and ever memorable sister. May your memory be eternal, dear sister, worthy of blessedness and ever to be remembered. May your memory be eternal, dear sister, worthy of blessedness and everlasting life. <laughs> Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This morning, we are here to celebrate the life and honor our departed sister, Pamela, a woman who has journeyed through life side by side with her husband, George. And I learned last night how you met, how you crossed bus, bus paths in what grade? Seventh grade. That one bus would come 
and Pamela would get on it, and one bus was going, and George was getting off of it. What a journey you have lived together. Pamela, I had the blessing and the honor to sit with and talk with her and George at the AHEPA event down in Tarpon Springs last year when we honored Buns. And I got to talk to Pamela for a few hours. And although she struggled through some of that talking because of the issues that she had with her lungs due to, co due to her bout with COVID, she went on to tell me all of the many things of her life. The ups, the downs, the good, the bad. And what I learned about this woman and what I've learned about her in the last few weeks is that there is a resilience. That no matter what happened in her life, she found the resolve to get through it. She found her way through it, through Christ, through her husband, through her children, her grandchildren, and all of her family members. Life is not easy. Life many times has its difficulties, but it's through that resilience. It's through our faith in Christ. It's through the resurrection that he provided the gift for all of us to turn our lives into something good, to honor him, to honor ourselves through the life that we live and through the glory that we give to his name. One of the many things that Pamela continued to say to me that evening when she was telling me her whole life story is that God provided for her. God helped her. God brought her George. God brought her her children. And although she has been taken from us in our standards way too soon, we know that she lived a life of thanksgiving. She was thankful for what she had. Of course, we want more time. Of course, we want the opportunity to continue our life with her. But she is now with us more than she ever could be. She will walk with each of you day by day and will be a helper in helping to guide all of us. As I say that, and I will repeat what I said last night, over the last four weeks, I've had the blessing to watch a beautiful marriage, a relationship, one that you could tell started in the seventh grade. Because no matter what, no matter what state Pamela was in, although she couldn't respond to us, Georgie was talking to her, always keeping her comfortable, always keeping her as if she was present and responding to each of us. I would walk in the door and George would go, Pam, Father George is here. And we would talk to her and have those beautiful prayers read for restoration of health. But as we know, God is the only one who controls these things. We have our plans, and we say many times when we plan, God laughs because no matter what we have prepared, he knows what is needed and what is best for us. Pamela's life will always remain a memory to each of us. George, Manuel, Dolly, and all of your family members, you will continue to have the wonderful memories you had with your mom, with your wife, and the kiddos with your yaya. You will always have those as part of who you are. And you may not see it now, but one day you will say, man, I'm doing things like Yaya did, or I'm doing things like Mom did, or I'm doing things like Pam did. Those are the beautiful memories that we can have and that we will continue to have as we move forward in a new life. We also want to thank His Eminence, Metropolitan Savas, for being here this morning and honoring the Pahakis family by your presence. And I know that his eminence has a few additional words to say. May her memory be eternal.
grateful to Father George for his words drawn from experience. My experience of him is much greater than my abilities. And yet, he was immediately understood. It was apparent the intensity of the love in the room that George was holding on to her with all his might hoping and praying for God's miracle. So I can't speak to her life in particular, but I can speak about what we just experienced as a, collect as a group of family and friends. We did the service entirely in English today so that a veil could be lifted and that you could hear as much as we are, could articulate, you could take in as much as possible and experience this strange service. And I call it strange because in large part, the, the words we chant are the words of the deceased. We're giving the deceased words to pray to God. I am the lost sheep. Call me back, O Savior. Have mercy on me. And, and when we do that, what we're saying is we're all in this together turn now, but it'll be my turn in a, in a while. You know, I mean, this is the great reality check. A funeral is a, a wake-up call. It's a time when we say, there's no getting around this. Whenever I go, it'll be too soon. Is my life in order? Is my relationship with God in order? Is my relationship with my friends and family in order? Have I expressed my love for them, my gratitude for them, my appreciation for them? I said it? Am I holding off to some other time, which will, of course, never be available to me? Because death, death will always be, come too soon, and I will never have had the opportunity. So the, the service means to put us in that place where we think of ourselves as someone destined to be in this space. And so we pray with all our hearts so that God will have mercy on us and we can join our loved ones in the age to come. We talk about paradise. This is a place where the soul of our departed Pamela abides for the time being. It's not her ultimate destiny. Her destiny, we'll know. It'll, it'll be, we experience all that together. When the kingdom comes, we'll know we're in the kingdom. And we won't be disembodied spirits. We'll be a new creation. God will provide for us a new heaven and our new earth. And our loved ones will be with us for eternity in ways that we can't understand. We hold on to that hope in our hearts. That's why we're Christians. We want to believe that because God has given us a glimpse of it. And so we want that. We want that for our sakes and for the sake of our loved ones. We want to be with our loved ones. Whatever time we had with them was not enough time. We want eternity. And so we're all in this together, people. We pray for their eternity. We pray that God grants us a turn. We pray to be properly oriented, to experience the glory of that day. So may you be patient in the days to come. We're just a little out of sync. You know, your journey and her journey is going to go terminus. But continue to talk to her. You've been talking to her all this while. She's been appreciative. And that's what it is for all of our departed. You know, whenever something reminds me of my mother, I use that as an excuse to converse with her, to say a few words to her, to tell her of my love and ask her for my forgiveness and ask God for his forgiveness of me. Whenever anything reminds me of a loved one or someone who's passed, I use that as an excuse to send up a quick prayer. And that's just a way of of strengthening bonds. Death just puts them in another room for a time being. We don't have access to that room, but they're, they're there. Shout a little louder. You know. yeah. God grant her, as the, in the, wor the beautiful words of the church, the irreplaceably beautiful words of the church, may God grant her rest with the saints where there is no pain, sorrow, or sigh. Because people are so 
full on prayer for the family. And at the end of our salutation, I will anoint Pamela for her final journey and include earth in the casket as well to remind her of that destiny that the body returns to its truth and true value. And then we will proceed from here to her death. At this point, as the folks from Seoul and prepare Pamela, you will be dismissed by our ushers in the final rows to come forward and play your final respects, after which we ask you to go directly to your cars to prepare for the procession to Forest Lawn Garden Cemetery, where we will have an additional Trisayon prayer. Following the burial, you are all invited back here downstairs to uh, our Makaria, our mercy meal, our luncheon downstairs. Thank you. And we ask that, as, again, as you leave, that you go directly to your cars so that the family can come forward privately and to pay their final respects. Oh, 
Αναπαύσε κύριο εξωμεθά. Πετός ποιος τρίνος εν τη παρουσιρόπη δεύτερου να σπάσαστε την προμικρού με θυμόν παραδίδωτε τα φοργάρ τα λείπτετε λίθο σκότι κατοικίζετε Νεκροί συνθράπτεται πάντε. Συγγενείστε και φίλοι. Άρτι χωριζόμεθα. Ήμπε. Αναπαύστε κυρίω. Ευξόμεθα. Ωραία του the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Save those who have placed their hope in you, Mother of the Son, never setting, and the Son and a blessed on the care on 
εις μνημόσυνον πανάμο με αιώνιον. Εδρεν, let us give a final kiss, a farewell to her who has left us, and offer thanks.
Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.